After having spent the last three years playing The Division and living through the various updates, I've seen the game grow yet be held back by its own internal limitations. It seemed that every time a new fix was implemented to patch a known issue, two others popped up in its place, and for those of us that have stuck with the game through the ups and downs, it just became part of the game. Now, ever since the Division 2 announcement was made, my mind has been running wild with wishes and hopes of a game that can finally meet all expectations of what an open-world MMORPG could be without all of the minor yet glaring issues known to Division agents. Essentially, keep all that is good while fixing or removing all that was bad. You know, like having your cake and eating it too. You get the point. Well, Agents of the Division, after playing the game for 5-6 to six hours at Red Storm last month and another 5-6 to six hours this past weekend in San Francisco, it pains me to inform you that the Division 2 is not yet ready. What's going on ladies and gents, it's Lieutenant Buzz Life here, and I know that you are not used to that type of intro on one of my Division videos, but after traveling to two different PR events and getting double digit amounts of hours playing the Division 2, I'm standing by my statement that the Division 2 is not yet ready. Now I know that there are going to be plenty of YouTube videos, social media blasts, reviews, tweets, and PR splashes in the video game publications touting the Division 2 as everything you liked about the original Division game with nothing you don't. And it would have been really easy for me to just play along with those statements, not make my feelings known, and just let the chips fall where they may. But I can't. It's just not my way of doing things. It's not who I am or what I stand for. And with that, let's pull back the curtains, take a look at the game, and let me show you what is concerning me about what is going on inside The Division 2. I think it's a fair statement that when we speak of the original Division game, we can say that it was a genre-defining game with loads of potential that attempted to merge the concept of an MMORPG with looter-shooter characteristics. Ultimately, it was a good game that was held back by poorly managed content drops causing players to leave due to stale content, lack of a clear and concise plot, lore, or character development, and buggy game mechanics. Now, I've never played a Ubisoft game prior to The Division, but from what I've seen, they seem to make bold design choices that feature beautifully crafted worlds, but their games are riddled with glitches and bugs. And this now brings me to The Division 2, and it pains me to inform you that this game, like the previous Division game, is riddled with bugs and wonky mechanics. To give you an idea of what I encountered during my PvE play session this past weekend in San Francisco, let me first show you this raw footage of me and my squad attempting to overtake a control point in the open world. Alright, here we go. We got the oh, control point. I... Oh, right. throw out your skills. I'll uh, take I'll take out the mini guns. Can't hit the mini guns. Here we go. Mini gun almost down. Right, there we go. That was easy. I don't know how you did that. Let the turrets do some work. Shave this shit off. Watch out, uh, RC cars coming. Hate those things. It's suicide oh, cars. Look that one. All right. Mini gunner back. Okay. Quickly, I'll keep an eye on you. Oh, I got a civilian over here. Keep an eye on. That's comforting. What does that say about our skill set? That an unarmed civilian's like, yeah, I got you. Not unarmed. All right. Well, it's still. She's like, I got used to elite squad. I have, I have far superior skills. Heavily armored, hostile. Heavy leader detected. All right, one climbing up for the turret again. We're all good on armor. I have on, armor let's care do on my this. Uh, drone. Oh, look, we got the cities in here helping us. There, turret, stay yeah. calm. Yeah, they are like Rambo. Are you gonna do anything? I, I've been Feel using my drone. Over here. It'd be, it'd be nice for you to... You but know. I was manually piloting my drone. And man, my drone kicked. Sure you were. I was. Oh, okay. Man. I've got proof of it. It's called my footage. Alpha 5. We know you just suck, okay? Well, that's true, but I don't... <laughs> but that part has nothing to do with anything. All right, we got an elite just kind of staggering through this. Got an armor. Glad to know the civilian's still Round getting away. Oh, 
there we go. Five. Boss yes. Down. No wonder we don't let you do things. Well, I tried to do it my way, and you were all mean. You might want to heal yourself, Alpha 5. Damn it. Agent down. Oh no, I'm about to. Huh? About. I got Alpha. Thank you. Don't let anyone near it! Incoming hostiles detected. Thank you, Johnny. I think I've got an elite. I'm the team medic. Thanks, John. Oh, hey. Oh, left side, left side. Oh, yeah. Yep. Man, over here. One of the civvies actually jumped up onto the mini gun. Nice. This is awesome. Okay with that. We need a Tetris. Yeah. Yeah, I've got uh, NPCs. How much your back? Yeah, I got the frame rates. Heavily armored. Oh, yeah, I'm detected. It's not like on it's like another heavy. Too much going on. Yeah, it's not like dreadful. It's just slow down. Control point my Control butt. point secured. Well done. I mean, you know. We did all right. That's it. Nobody died. Right? Yeah. Sorry, Alpha Supply 5. Room what? Access. I didn't Unlocked. die. This small clip from the hours of gameplay I was involved in is a microcosm of what I experienced. On the surface, the game looks amazing. The environment, weaponry, battle sequences, soundscape, and general immersion are all vastly improved from the original Division game, but once you slow it down and really analyze the footage, you will see that there are so many little things going on in here that were never fixed from the original game. Being bumped out of cover or having my point of view obscured by NPCs, invisible barriers blocking bullets even though I have line of sight on a target, teleporting NPCs, frame rate drops, and I mean severe frame rate drops, and all of this on an Xbox One X that is capped at just 30 FPS? I mean, this is 2019. Can we not reach 60 FPS consistently on an Xbox One X? And if not, why can't the game just stay rock steady at at least 30? I also encountered NPCs not spawning into certain areas, staying trapped behind locked doors and therefore not allowing us to proceed through the mission huge sound drops when firing at certain NPCs to the point that I was losing all game sound. Damage not registering on NPCs when they attempted to jump down from cover while I was shooting them. Wonky NPC movements usually involving some sort of cover move that would trigger the dreaded NPC surfing mechanics. And I was also surprised at how many times members of my squad who were all seated right next to me and playing on the exact same server as me were dropped from the group as their games crashed. If four players in a controlled environment are consistently seeing squad members crash and having to reboot, what does that say about what we can expect when millions of agents activate and attempt to join servers? Looking back into the past, do any of these issues sound familiar to those of you who have spent time playing the original Division game? I mean, I simply don't understand how known issues from a game that is three years old have now made their way back into a game that started development just a few days after the original Division game launched. Was nothing learned from the R&D for our current game, corrected and then translated into fixes for the Division 2? For example, I've seen teleporting NPCs for nearly three years. I've seen this issue reported. I've seen the issue acknowledged by the dev team and now. I see teleporting NPCs in a game that is about to launch in just over a month. I mean, I guess what is frustrating me to the point of publishing this video is that these are not new bugs. These are the same known issues we've had with our current Division game for the past three years. Now I know what some of you are saying. Buzz, you were probably on a pre 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 alpha build that was made like a year ago and that's why you encountered all those issues. I mean, take it easy, bruh. You're being too hard on Ubisoft. And you know what? That is a fair statement. But I was at this event just a week before the private beta is to go live. So my response to that line of thinking is, why would you put me and other hardcore division faithful on a build that wasn't the latest and best build you could offer us? 
Why would you want us to try out a build that was riddled with issues when you knew you had a much better build coming for the upcoming beta? Unless there is no better beta build coming and this is what we should expect for not only the two upcoming betas but for the launch of the Division 2 just over a month away. I mean, any changes made now will need at least a month to clear inspections for PlayStation and Xbox, so that window is quickly closing. Ultimately, who knows? I could be completely wrong about what to expect in the betas and the eventual launch of the game, and if I am, I am more than comfortable admitting my mistakes in public. But in case I am not wrong, I wanted to at least give you an alternate review of what I was able to experience in the two private tests. The Division 2, just like the original Division game, is a genre-defining game with loads of potential that is again attempting to push the limits of what an MMORPG looter shooter can become. It is now up to Ubisoft Massive to roll up their sleeves, look themselves in the mirror, take on these legacy bugs and glitches, and make sure that The Division 2 is ready for agents to fully experience come March 15th.